I 46 male want to stay in contact with my goddaughter affair partner 25 female after being sober from sex addiction. But. People say it is not a good idea. I am married to a wonderful woman for the past 16 years, and we have three children together. However. My wife does not know that I am a ex addict, and I have been one before even meeting her in my late 20s. For the past 15 years. I have been having multiple affairs to take care of my craving. I have been very vigilant about using protection. Over this period of time. I have attempted to change my ways by going into counseling and joining ex addiction support groups. In one of my attempts to get clean three years ago. I met girl. At a support group whom was also a ex addict. She did not have many friends and her family was overwhelming to her. I have children myself and I cannot imagine people treating their kids like garbage. We started to get to know each other more and we had lots in common. I was open about my problems with addiction along with the shame that I felt for being an addict and hiding my secrets from my family. She told me about her family and that she was going through some rough time after a breakup with a boyfriend once. He found out about her addiction. One evening when I gave her a little bit of money to help her get by her financial struggle and encouraged her to enroll in school. She said she felt emotional and wanted a hug. She gave me a hug. Held on and started crying. I held on to her at this point and let her cry it out. Suddenly out of nowhere. She whispered in my ears. John Candimelan. I think you are a very handsome and noble man. She then proceeded to give me a big wet kiss on the lips and my rational thinking went down. South. Our relationship had become X-rated ever since. We had been together for three year. Despite having a S Zool relation with this girl. I do not believe I have any romantic feelings for her. I feel very comfortable with her because she and I can engage with one another about each other's problems and we would support one another. She has been there for me when one of my ex-affair partners has decided to use me to get pregnant because her husband has fertility problems. I have been there for my goddaughter when she is struggling with life and help her make healthy career. Financial and lifestyle choices. She is like a goddaughter who I happen to have ex with. I am like a father figure that her nuclear family cannot provide. She even said one time that she wants me to walk her down the aisle when she gets married. I will be entering a specialized ex addiction treatment program and go to a male only support group in two weeks. I owe it to my wife and my children to get clean. I want to be the strong father figure that they think I am. I realize that I cannot break my addiction alone. Hence. This time I will confide my secrets to my father. Two brothers and my best friend. I will come clean about my secret bank account. Cheat phone. Prepaid credit cards. Hiding spots. Locked box near the spare tire. Etc. I want them to monitor my location and finance so that I do not. Relapse. I will also end things with my other affair partners. I think a majority of the people believe that I should stop seeing my goddaughter. However. We have been through so much together and it will be difficult to let her go. I wish there will be a day where we can congratulate each other for quitting our ex-addiction. I wish there will be a day where I can give her away to her future husband. I need to get this off my chest. Too long didn't read. I am a ex-addict and I have been seeing this girl and other ex-addict him as like a goddaughter to me. I want us to take a break so that we can seek help to deal with our addiction. I want to retain a non s Zool relationship with her after we are sober. But people think it is not a good idea. I think it's pretty dysfunctional to view yourself as her godfather father figure who also happens to have ex with her. Those things don't really go together. You might have a strong bond and have fatherly feelings between her. But ex inevitably complicates that. You're cutting off things with all your other s Zool partners. But you think the one you have an emotional connection to regardless of whether it's not romantic on your end is the one you should maintain contact with. You say the support and non-Zool nature of your relationship is what you want to be able to maintain. But your S-Zool relationship began while you were being there for emotionally. As a friend would. How would you change that moving forward? Also I think it's important that while you may have drawn the line between X and romance. You haven't really indicated that she's done the same on her end. Are you sure she doesn't see this as a different type of relationship? I think all of these difficulties point toward maintaining contact being a poor decision on your end. It would be great to work together through your addictions. But I don't think it's the healthiest for either of you. Both in your journey through addiction and in building healthy romantic relationships and working on being the husband your wife deserves. 
Edit I see you wanted to cut off contact and then reconnect. I think my points still stand in that situation. It seems more of a risk temptation than necessary. You are right. The relationship is quite dysfunctional. Quitting an addiction will always be difficult. My goddaughter claims that she does not have any romantic feelings in the beginning. I am not sure if the stance has changed. I have not noticed any changes. I will have a chat with her about our separation and see where that takes us. I will give her a lump sum of money to give her a boost in her education. Perhaps five years down the road we can meet again and we can talk about our accomplishments. I can see their point. It's generally a bad idea for addicts who want to stay clean to hang out with other addicts. A recovering alcoholic who sticks around his old drinking buddies is more likely to relapse. Exactly I am so conflicted. I like my goddaughter as a person. But I cannot be with her because she has a private part. It's a package deal. No way to separate those two things. God you're a piece of crap. I do not think your goddaughter and your wife should ever meet. You should stay away from her while you are trying to get sober. Once your mind is clear. Then you can decide what type of relationship you want with the girl. Good point. I can decide once I get sober. Second story. Trigger warning. Trauma. A woman finds out her boyfriend of three years has a second girlfriend of nine months. She wants to warn the other girl. But the boyfriend in typical cheater fashion is claiming the other woman is emotionally unstable and will do something to herself if upset. Long story short. I figured out from 30 hundred miles away he's been cheating. Started with a phone call popping up on his screen. With the girl's name on FaceTime. I said go take your phone call. He refused. Said it was his male friend confused gaslit me and made me rethink the name I had read. Wasn't a huge alarm bell because I thought I just misread the name. Then I found them with matching Instagram profile pics of all things praise be to the Instagram algorithm suggesting her account to me the day after the phone call incident and I put two and two together and confronted him. He admitted to it. From the date in the girl's bio they've been together for nine months. We were together for about three years. He knew her before he knew me. Didn't think anything of it he. Still insists at the beginning nothing was going on. But flirts and ex happened around nine months ago. He had a snap streak with her since before we knew each other properly. Whatever. Didn't bother me when I saw it. Anyway. Now he's been cheating with her. Emotionally and physically, but she's still partly long distance relationship I believe I'm not entirely sure. She doesn't know he was with me. Has no idea of our relationship or my existence. He said he's too scared to break up with her because she's suicidal. Gets very upset with him example. He claims he was forced to do the Instagram profile pic thing because otherwise she got upset and would cut and she takes anger out on him. Issues with drugs and alcohol. Parents drug addicts, so not a supportive home life. He is kind of therapist-esque for her I think. Supports her in whatever. We talked for about an hour after I confronted him which is why I know all this. Classic cheater caught scenario crying. Apologizing. The kicker was when I said break up with her and block her it's unhealthy for you and unfair for her she needs professional mental health help which you can't provide and you're screwing with your own sanity. Refused. Said she'd do something to herself and he couldn't deal with that on his conscience. I was like I'll message her then and tell her if he is too chicken. 2. Please don't do anything to yourself. I think he genuinely worries about her. Unsure. I don't know who he is anymore lol. To make it very clear. He didn't tell me he was cheating. Repeatedly reassured me he could never cheat. Loved me. Reassuring in kind. Blah blah. I worked out he was cheating for myself through a convenient phone call which he panicked swiped away and then the blessed Instagram algorithm. Then I confronted him and he admitted to it. I don't have any resentment towards the other girl at all. Because she doesn't know who I am all blame on my ex in this scenario. But now I am dealing with a moral conundrum do I tell her. The. Potentially suicidal. Depressed. Recovering current drug and alcohol addicted youngish girl. That her boyfriend of at least 9 months, and I am guessing they've been talking flirting for longer had a girlfriend of 3 years February 2018 today, I learned yesterday June 2021. And that he's been lying to her and to me. Or do I not get involved and leave them be? Again. 
To make it very clear before anyone jumps down my throat I am not trying to be a homewrecker or whatever and ruin her life and his. I just genuinely am concerned that I am morally obliged to tell her. Because personally, I would have wanted someone to tell me if my boyfriend was cheating. And if the situation was reversed and she had known, I would have wanted her to let me know too. Unsure though with her. Mental health problems. Don't want to be responsible for suicide or anything like that. Please advise. Give your opinions but treat me gently because I found out Boyf has been cheating on me for almost a year less than 12 hours ago lol. Thanks. Too long didn't read. Boyfriend of 3 years cheating with someone else. They've been together for 9 months. I broke up with him. She doesn't know I exist. She sounds severely depressed. Suicidal plus issues with drugs and alcohol. He asked me not to tell her as she would do something to herself. Unsure if I should moral conundrum. Help. Update. I told her. Sent her a long message from my own Instagram account no burners or anything. Lots of empathy and kindness. Told her I was on her side. She asked for proof. Sent that through. X texted me 5 minutes later with you did it hey. I'd blocked him on all social medias except for phone number. Then he weirdly thanked me said it was better for his head and mental health now. I did him a favor. Baffled me a little. Sent him a couple harsh text messages explaining it wasn't for him. But for her. She deserved the truth. He apologized again. LOL. And then I sent him a final message and blocked. Girl seemed devastated. Not angry at me thankfully as I was scared of her spinning it against me which I don't think I could have handled in my delicate state lol. Told her I was there for her. Had a little chat. But haven't talked to her since 12 hours ago. Not expecting to continue talking. To know if she properly broke up with him. Or taking a break since they still follow each other but she changed her profile pic so it's no longer matching and relationship date from her bio is gone. None of my business what happens next. I just hope she's okay and takes the next steps which are healthy for her. No idea if she's suicidal. I had that in the long message sent to her that he told me you were vulnerable and suffering from depression, so I debated sending this message, but I think you deserve the truth. Inevitably. I think it's better for her to know rather than confide in a liar who is overwhelming her vulnerability. Thank you to everyone who replied on the previous post. Definitely help to see other strangers agreeing with sending a message and informing her. If anyone ends up in a similar situ. I hope you never do. But send the message to the unknowing affair partner. It'll relieve your conscience I think. Even though you're not in the wrong. That sounds weird. But trust me I know I was the one cheated on and that she was the other woman, but it still felt good to tell her what the real truth was. Rather than him spinning it against me or never telling her. It's kinda like a final kaboom in my ex's face. Making sure he can't just go crawling to his other girlfriend now that I broke up with him. And she knew the full truth and can decide what to do next breakup or stay together. I feel relieved. I have finally stopped feeling nauseated and throwing up. Had my first good night's sleep since I found out. Nothing but bad feelings for the ex. I dunno if it's hate. That's a strong word. I resent what he put me through. And the waste of. Time. And the lies for such a long time. He's made me unsure of myself and everything he told me. But I have enough self-respect to break up with him. Miss what I thought we had I think. I dunno. It was all lies I guess. I want him to figure himself out. Mature and eventually settle down not with me. Holding all my resentment against the cheating ex. Not a fair partner. The hurt is setting in now. Last couple days it was anger. Now it's just pain lol. Now. Can anyone offer post discovering your long term partner's been cheating on you for almost a year advice? I am not used to not being busy and am having too many. Thoughts. I just finished final exams so have been studying for months and been busy and now it's. Nothing. Glad I found out after exams. But not sure what to do now. Advice appreciated. Too long didn't read. Told the unknowing affair partner via Instagram messages on my personal account. Long. Empathetic message telling her I am on her side plus proof when she asked for it. X texted me you did it hey. And then thanked me. Blocked his number. She seems sad. 
Unsure if 100% broken up, but PFPS and date in bio changed. I don't care. Not my business. Hope for the best for her. Now I need advice on how to heal. If. Anyone has any. Thanks. I wonder how much of what he told her about the girl was true. I'd guess around 20%. Third story. I selfishly want to expose my affair partner. I met my current partner at a work party this June. I had heard of him through some of our co-workers as the man to stay away from. But despite my best attempts and as cliche as it sounds. We locked eyes from across the room and had instant chemistry. I did a little internet sleuthing and found out he had a girlfriend. And I confronted him about it that very night. He claimed to have an open relationship and he was free to indulge as long as he kept her in the know. I didn't see a problem with it. I wasn't. And still am not in a place to commit to someone. And thought I found myself in the perfect situation. Our relationship evolved fairly quickly and we had many late night dinner dates. Clubbing. And drinking with friends. There came a point in our relationship where he brought up the idea of meeting his girlfriend. I was game. I figured it'd give me the chance to explain to her that I had no interest in stealing her man. And enjoyed the company and situation we were currently in. In discussing the details. I came to find out that not only did she not know about me. But they've been engaged for about a year now. I didn't know what to do about it. As I had been equally misled. But I found myself falling for him. We brushed it off for a while, but as the months have gone by I've been increasingly bitter and hurt by the limitations on our relationship. I knew what I was getting into from the start. But my feelings had other plans for me I suppose. I'm moving to a different city in a couple of weeks to pursue my master's degree. Hence my inability to commit. But my hurt makes me want to lash out and set his life on fire on my way out. We fell in love with each other and knew nothing could happen of it. And I thought I could be okay with that. I think I got wrapped up in playing pretend and a life that I could never really have. And if I have to mourn it and start over. I want him to have to do it too. I know exposing him is selfish. I can't even say I'm doing this for her. Because she deserves to know. But because I want to hurt him. I'm just as complicit because I knew the truth after a while. But I don't know how to proceed. They've been together for so long that I think she'd stay with him anyway. So I don't even know what I'd really accomplish. Does she deserve to know anyway? I'd basically drop a bomb once I was safely away from the fallout. And I don't know how well that sits with me either. I do care about him. And I know I'm being selfish. I've been keeping this secret for so long, but now that it's coming to an end I have to reconcile with it. Go pour yourself a drink. Smoke some weed and chill. Don't even waste your energy. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel.